all right guys welcome back to my channel in this video i will talk about the various power bi licenses what are the important differences between these two pro and premium and then in power bi premium what is the difference between per user and per capacity because once you're choosing the license for yourself or for the organization it is very important to understand the difference so as to you can minimize the overall budget cost right so there are basically two major licenses in power bi one is power bi pro and then there is power bi premium so if you are on the us website of power bi microsoft you will see the prices in dollars right if you change it over here to india then you can see the values in indian rupees right so power bi pro license will cost you 785 rupees per user per month so these values keeps on changing so right now it is 785 and uh, for premium it is almost uh, double that is 1570 right and then per capacity it is roughly around 4 lakhs per capacity per month so i'll explain you what is the difference so if you go scroll down you'll see the features and which is available in which particular license so if we talk about collaboration analytics then in terms of mobile app access that is available in all the three options right publishing the reports to share and collaborate it is not available in premium right then if we talk about paginated reports it is available in all the three options so the point is i'll explain you the difference between power bi pro and premium because this is very important because many of us get confused which license to use like if you are okay with power bi pro or you need to upgrade yourself and take power bi premium and if you take power bi pro then what is the challenge right so if we talk about these two options these two are anyways not available in premium as well right so this is available in pre uh, premium per capacity right so if we talk about data preparation modeling and visualization so this is a very important point model size limit so if you have worked on power bi desktop right so in power bi desktop whatever data you are importing and when you save that file that pbx file that size cannot exceed 1 gb right once it exceeds you won't be able to publish that file that is there in power bi pro so if your data size becomes let's say 2 gb for pbx file i'm not talking about the data that you're importing i'm import saying the data that you're having in pbx file that total file size should not be exceeding 1 gb in power bi pro license if you have premium license then it can go up to 100 gb so this is a lot so if you have a large data set you have to have power bi premium license you can't use power bi pro for that if we talk about the refresh rate in power bi pro you can refresh eight times in a day so for example uh, you can refresh in uh, every three hours in a day right so we have 24 hours so every three hours if you schedule a refresh it will be eight times right so it you it's up to you you can schedule it in every hour every half an hour but you can schedule only eight times right whereas in power bi premium license it is 48 times so you can schedule it every half an hour so if you take 24 hours bracket every half an hour you can refresh your data set right so if it is very critical for you to have the updated data interactive and latest data then we have to go with the premium license or second option is if you are having the live connection or data is coming from direct query then uh, the data is anyways coming on real time right then if we talk about connect to more than 100 data sources it is available in all the three options so that is not a challenge create reports and visualization with power bi desktop this is available in all three options embed apis and control this is also possible in all the three options if we talk about ai visuals this is available but if we talk about advanced ai if you have to do text analytics or image detection automated machine learning this is not available in power bi pro so if you are working on data science projects and if you want to use power bi for visualization you won't be able to use or you won't be able to do justice to the project using power bi pro license so for that you have to take power bi premium or per capacity right so per capacity is generally used by the teams big organization 
team size so for you uh, for you let's say we are comparing power bi pro versus premium so for you this is irrelevant capacity one right now if we talk about excel xmla endpoint read write connectivity so this is not available in power bi pro license it is available in premium but generally this is not required if you are using working on various basic projects so uh, this is not that important uh, for you as a beginner then if we talk about data flows direct query linked and computed entities enhanced compute engine for this again power bi premium license is required and if we talk about data mart creation this is again not available in pro and this is generally not used if you are a beginner or intermediate developer so you won't be using this right so if we talk about governance and administration data security and encryption so power bi or you can say rather microsoft it takes a lot of efforts to secure your data so data security is not a concern if you have any kind of license then if you talk about matrix for content creation consumption and publishing this is available right so if you go to the services you can do so many edits and you can create various dashboards so it is available in all the licenses then if you talk about application life cycle management it is not available in pro and so and so forth so these four points this is important maximum storage so if we see maximum storage it is 10 gb per user so if you are using pro license so you can't store more than 10 gb of the data so there is a difference between this maximum storage and the point we discussed model size limit so this 1 gb is the pbx file size so if you are preparing a power bi desktop file the model size it cannot go beyond 1 gb but you can store up to 10 gb per user right this is 100 tb so it is not gb it is tb so 100 tb is the storage size if you are taking the premium license right so as you know power bi storage is done on cloud so this is the data we are talking about on cloud so you can store data up to 10 gb for one user in pro license and 100 tb it is a lot right so 100 tb storage you can do in premium license so these are the basic difference so let's see if we go to the services let me just explain you this is learn.microsoft.com so this is one of the best website to study these kind of uh, technology related to microsoft products so if we talk about free per user license users with free licenses can use the power bi service to connect to data and create reports and dashboards for their own use they can't use power bi sharing or collaborating so for example you have free user license so you can create the dashboards you can prepare you can learn whatever you want to do but you won't be able to share or collaborate so that is a, a drawback of free per user license however pro and ppu users can share the content and collaborate with free users if the content is saved in workspaces hosted in premium capacity right so there are various workspaces that you create on power bi services so if you are a pro or ppu user you can share that content with the free users they can access your content but it should be saved in the workspaces that is hosted in premium capacity right so this is something that you have to ponder on then if we talk about the pro license as we were discussing this comparison between pro and premium so the pro license is an individual per user license that lets users create content and also read and interact with the content that others has have published to the power bi service right so this is something you have to see only power bi pro users can publish or share content with other pro users so if you are a pro user the free user free license user cannot share or cannot access to pro user right so this is something we have to see in if we talk about premium per user that is ppu ppu license provides the license holder with all the capabilities of power bi pro plus access to most premium capacity based features a power bi ppu license unlocks access to variety of features capabilities and types of content that are only available to premium this access is limited to the ppu license holder and other colleagues who also have a ppu license for example in order to collaborate and share content in the ppu workspace 
all users must have a PPU license. So there is a workspace that is created as a premium. So you must have seen the diamond sign, right? So that means that is a premium workspace. So if you are a pro, a pro user, you won't be able to access that workspace, right? So when using PPU license, content created by PPU licensed user can only be shared with other users that have PPU license unless that content is specifically put in a workspace hosted in premium capacity. The table below summarizes the basic capabilities of each license type, right? So now if you see here, free, pro and premium, you can see the difference over here. So basically, if you go to this website, you will be able to understand the difference, right? So I have showcased you this. If I go back to the Indian website, yeah, so it is 785 per user per month. It is 1570. So it is double of the pro license. So you have to choose why premium. So if you see if your data set is large, if your incremental refresh, if you want to refresh a lot, frequency should be higher, then you have to go to the premium uh, license. Otherwise, pro is good to go. If you are starting, if you just don't want to share, then you can start with the free license. But once your uh, free license is done, I mean, you have to share with your friends or colleagues, or if you want to share your reports, on Power BI service, then take Power BI Pro license and you're good to go, right? So in this video, it was a, like it was related to Power BI Pro, Power BI Premium. So if you have any questions, you can comment below. If you are confused in any of these features, let's say if you want to understand what is paginated reports, please comment below. I'll be happy to address you with the practical example. Right. So I hope this video was useful to you. If you like these kind of videos, please share across with your friends like these videos. Thanks a lot for watching this video.